So let's talk about anger. Have you ever been so angry, so offended, so annoyed that you couldn't find the words, that you couldn't find a way to truly express that feeling? Shut up! Yeah, me too. To me, music has been a way to honestly reflect something about myself, how I feel about things, how I think about things. One of the biggest challenges that I think people face today is reconciling who they are on the inside, who they believe themselves to be, what they believe themselves to be, with the realities of their life. here to talk about what's the best way to respond in a situation where you experience anger on the day that I filmed this I was I was angry I haven't been that angry for a very long time as a youngster I used to do martial arts and I've spent much of my life learning to control my emotions to contain my emotions and I felt it was time to honestly share what I'm like when I'm angry and all of this developed into something entirely new. And then I realized that what I'm trying to achieve through this channel is more than just sharing music, you know, it's sharing parts of my life. I want you guys to be a part of my life. I want you to see what I'm going through, to see how I deal with challenges, whether I do a sterling job or whether I fail miserably. Unfortunately, the fail miserably throughout my life has been more prevalent, but every time you fail, it's only a failure if you don't get up. A couple of years back, I read a book. He said that in a certain context, anger can be a good thing. Anger can be the fuel that propels you to a higher level. Now coming back to our friend Wesley, I want you to have a look at the scene and think about the pacing of the scene. First, he explodes. And he gets up. She has one single iota of tenuous power. He recomposes so he himself. Push everyone around. You don't need this. I understand. From there on, he's calculated in every single You're thing high. he does. It must have been kind of tough, but it doesn't give you the right to treat your workers like horseshit, Janice. I know. We laugh at you, Janice. We all know you keep a stash of jelly donuts in the top drawer of your desk. But I want you to know that if you weren't such a bitch, we'd feel sorry for you. Let's take this emotion, let's take this anger and turn it into a song. I'm going to put this into a song because the intensity of the emotion I was feeling, I knew I needed to deal with this. The first thing I did was I looked for a beat that was slow, deliberate, and strong. And the moment I heard it, I also found a guitar scratch that reminded me of I Disappear from Metallica. Found a bass sound, recorded it in, and then I started adding guitar layers. I absolutely love guitars. I love strong driving guitars. So I was looking for something that would amplify the emotion, make my audience feel the anger that I'm feeling, but at the same time, to soothe the beast. 
And I think this is where there's a, a nice lesson in life, in music writing, and in filmmaking. Pacing. Within the first hour, I'd say, I had laid down the basics of the song. I had all the components that I wanted. I had every guitar line that I wanted. I had that scratch. I had the bass line. Uh, but it took me another five days to fine-tune that and make some changes here, make some changes there, add a little bit of layering, add a little bit of effect. And that is basically the essence of creating art is you need to find the core and expand from that. So with all of this said, I'd like you guys to have a listen to the song. Drop a comment below. Give it a like if you liked it. Subs if you loved it. And also share with me, how do you deal with anger? Because I think specifically that is something that we can all learn from. Till next time. Cheers.